Hey guys, in this video, we will take a look at how to test your one page checkout and one click upsell with PayPal. First, let's verify that all the setup is correct. Go to Connect and click One Page Checkout. Here, we will check that we have smartly one page checkout enabled on our store and the payment provider is PayPal. Now, let's go to Campaigns, Checkout and click Checkout Funnels. Here I have only one Checkout Funnel set up. Let's take a look at it. So my Checkout Funnel is set up that way that when customer buys yellow audio headphones, he will get a purple audio headphones in my test purple so. Now, let's go to our Shopify store. Here, I will choose the product that my AppSol starts with, which is yellow audio headphones. I will add to cart the desired product and click check out. Here, I will need to verify that this is indeed a smartly one page checkout page and the PayPal button has loaded on the checkout. You can see this is completely your checkout page and here I can fill in all the information that's necessary. This will calculate the shipping and taxes for your checkout. Please verify that these numbers match the configuration directly on your store. Right now, since I've chosen Ukraine um, in my dropdown, there's no tax set up for it, and the shipping for this specific type of product is set to $20 per international shipping, which is the default Shopify checkout. Now, click PayPal checkout. This will open the PayPal login window, where I can log in with my PayPal credentials as the buyer. This will open the PayPal login window, which will allow me to log in with my personal PayPal account. I will log in with my buyer account. Now, PayPal will show me the confirmation window. I'm verifying that the price measures the prices on the page and clicking Pay Now. At this point, the first purchase is already done on PayPal. But the order has not been created yet. Now, we can add the upsell to the order. First, I'm verifying that this is the page that I've set up as an upsell. And I'm clicking Buy Now. This prompts another PayPal window, which will simply ask for confirmation. It's already logged me in, since I've already... I'm already logged in at this point, so I'm just clicking Pay Now. That's it, I'm redirected to the thank you page. Now, let's check if everything was created correctly. I will go over to orders. Usually the last order that has been created is the order that we need. First, this was the upsell product, and this was the original product, the yellow audio headphones. The shipping was calculated in a specific manner. The shipping was charged in the first payment of the product. And the second product was added to the shipping according to your Shopify store rules. If your product's weight overflow your Shopify store configuration, the shipping will recalculate it accordingly. So, for example, if the shipping price for two products is more than the shipping price for one product, the difference will be calculated and charged in the second upsell. The difference will be calculated and charged in the upsell. Now, let's take a look at more details here. We can see that the order has been paid for, 
and yet unfulfilled. Also, there are specific tags on the order. There is smartly order tag, which marks all the orders made in the smartly. There is a smartly OCU order, which marks the orders that are done through this marketly checkout. And there is a smartly OCU order with offers, which means that we had an additional upsell that was added to the order. Now, let's take a look at our PayPal account. We can see that we have two new transactions. This is the original transaction that has the shipping incorporated in it. And here is the transactions for the second product, which had the shipping removed from it. Now, let's return back to the thank you page. If a customer reaches the thank you page, it will automatically finalize the order in your Shopify. If the person abandoned your app sold midway and didn't reach the thank you page, there will be a grace period of 10 minutes where the order that has been finished will be created in Shopify and the order that didn't get upsold will be added to the abandoned checkouts. That's it. You can safely say that your one-page checkout and one-click upsell are now working with PayPal on your Shopify store. Thank you and have a good one.